Right, okay, there seems to be a few people getting confused about actually how to install this mod properly. So, here we go. This is the my workshop folder. This is my Daisy server folder, or just one I've made up for now. Go in the missions you want. Yours will probably be Namask or whatever it is. I'm just going to go in this one, default one. Find your uh, correct XML files. We want to find the mod as well. So, DBO creatures, that's the mod. Um, and Dinos has put a few bits and bobs here um, that should be able to help you out like the types. So all you got to do is open up types, either in Notepad or Notepad++ or anything. Cover them across, as I'm sure you've been doing. Um, like if you want just the normal one, you can copy that across. If you want the medium one and the hard one, you can copy them across. It's also a super hard one and something weird that he's been doing. I'm going to do just the four normal ones. So we've got the super hard, hard, medium, and normal. I'll copy it across. Um, there is a little error in here. Bear, bear that in mind as well at the moment. It says type and type there. Um, currently, that's a bit of an error. So what you want to do is just add one of these in. So, for instance, you can delete that or delete that. And then that will be correct. Um, so that might be an issue that some of you are having with this. And then go back into your types folder, go to the bottom and paste that underneath. If you know how to install mods, you'll be doing this fairly regularly, so it'll be fine. But that's just how you do that. And then save that. Close these. And then you've got to do the same for all of these ones. So um, types is an obvious one. Events is another obvious one. Copy the event across. Again, there's another error in here that event there should not be there so you could delete that and, uh, and just copy this across into the events so go to the oh, a minute. find your events go to the bottom or wherever you want to put it and then add that in before the events with a backslash and after the event with a backslash there we go that's in there um, obviously we left out the super weird so we're not going to want that one and save Uh, what else have we got? Spawnable types. I'll go back a folder and spawnable types. Put both of these up. Leave out the super weird one again. There's also an error in this just there. You can see that. So that needs another one of them. There are actually a few errors in these folders. So we've got the uh, normal one at the top here. We've got the Bloodsucker Medium, Bloodsucker Hard, and Bloodsucker Super Hard. And then we want to put this at the bottom of the spawnable types folder again. Just before the last the last little entry there. Save that. Close these out again. Uh, random presets. Okay, so those those last three, they were ones that actually um, put the uh, put the mod into your files. So if you loaded up the server and had something like community online tools, you could now spawn them in. What I'm now going to do will we'll actually make them spawn in by themselves into the server. So we want the uh, territories for the zombies, which I provided with a few locations. Uh, these, are for, these are for custom spawns. Um, so if we go into env up here, and then into zombie territories, I generally like to put them to so the top of the documents there. I generally like to put them under the uh, with the army ones. So you literally just highlight these these little bits here. These are comments. These won't affect your file, so you don't need to worry about them. You copy them in. That way, you know these spawn points underneath them, and then like, that's their locations. So you put them in there. Bish bash bosh. That's that done. Save that. So you now have um, all the extra spawns for Namask. These are specifically for Namask. If you're using another thing, don't use them. After you added the spawnable types in, you want to go to random presets, and because when we added the spawnable types, we we also uh, put in a chance to drop some cargo in there, and this is the cargo. So you can change any of these, set it up so that it'll drop whatever you want. But these values here have to add up to 1.0. Um, so 25 plus 25 plus 25 plus 25 equals 100, or 0.25 times 4 is 1. Yeah, okay. Um, and then you add this to 
see if you run in presets. Your one from the mouse could look a little bit different than this. All you got to do is add it. Um, uh, you can add it under any any of these, to be honest with you. Um, probably cargo. Add it with the rest of the cargo ones. If you paste it in there, that'll be fine. That'll be that will be picked up. And you close that. So with these zombie territories, that means they're going to spawn in these locations. One other thing you might want to do is you might want to include the infected bloodsuckers in all the military locations. If you want to do that, there is actually a relatively easy way to do it. Um, so if we go into events, database events, um, you've got to find your zombie spawns. So if we scroll down a bit, Animal, animal, goat, animal, pig, animal, blah, 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 blah. Here we go. Infected army. What you can do is you can go into your events and you can copy whichever ones you want to spawn with the normal zombies. So if we copy that and put it in with the infected army, just there, like that, that'll be fine. Um, and then make the min one or something very low so the chance is chance is low for them to spawn and then that will actually spawn in um, although what you're meant to do is actually make these all add up to 100 so you could take so one off of there turn that to 19 and that'll be fine um, so this will actually allow it to spawn in with all the rest of the army zombies but it'll be a much rarer spawn because the minimum is one than all of these ones um, there you go there's a quick little guide for installing the Bloodsucker mod, basically.